The archipelago of the Canaries of the coast of Morocco is made up of seven islands. Today, there are Spanish. The volcanic summits of the Canaries emerging from the surface of the ocean may be the vestige of a continent sunken beneath the waters, the mysterious Atlantid. At the beginning of the 15th century, Jean de Bédancourt conquered these islands for the King of Castile. The Canaries were then inhabited by people who claimed to be survivors of a terrible catastrophe that occurred thousands of years earlier, wiping out the whole of humanity. The origin of the Guanches, the name of the first inhabitants of the Canaries, is unknown. Often tall, blonde or red-headed with blue eyes, the Guanches speak a language that shows similarities with Berber. But the Guanche civilization remains a mystery. According to archaeologists, they know nothing of the use of metal or material, and they lived in caves. More mysterious still, these so-called primitive people built little pyramids in declining balance, mastered mummification processes, had an alphabet and possessed solid notions of astronomy. Colonization started in the Canaries at the dawn of the 15th century. The conquistadors were not the least interested in the Guanches' culture. The Guanches were massacred, sold as slaves or assimilated. When Christopher Columbus stops in the Canaries during his first trip to America in 1492, the Guanche civilization is about to disappear. A sad foreshadowing of what awaited the Amerindian people.